We've seen a lot of surprises in the last outing, Lodovic Klein, I believe he was kind of robbed in his last outing, but right now Lodovic Klein riding Mr. Highlight, riding a score of 17-3-0, uh, 5'7", 72 inches. Foundation style is boxing, but uh, Lajko is still a help of a kicker. I mean, three of last his knockout ke- knockouts came via head kick and punches. I still see him as one of the best kickers in the division. And uh, in UFC, he holds the score of 1-1 with victory over Shane Young and uh, lost to Mike Rizano. A heck of a striker. I see Lajko as one of the best strikers ever seen, I mean. His ground game is also so-so, but his striking, especially his left hand and left high kick rock. Now Nate Lander, 5'9", 72 inches, uh, 72 inches is uh, his reach, and uh, yeah, we won't see a significant reach advantage. Now we got 14-4 to score, and uh, M1 Global featherweight champ wins the former GOTC and 3FC featherweight champ uh, Nate Lander is uh, riding a score of uh, 1-2. He lost to Herbert Burns via KO and Julian Rhodes via TKO with he outworked Darren Elkins. I have to say that um, Nate Lander is not as good striker as Ludovic Klein, but he is a better wrestler. He is good in the clinch. On the ground, well, it's tricky, but uh, on the ground I could even give advantage to Lander. Lander's card is better, but I think uh, Klein could, uh, could finish this fight if he fights... Uh, if he fights wisely, I mean, Klein have to, has to fight wisely if he wants to finish this fight. And uh, I kind of hope this could come to fruition. So I think Klein is actually a very tricky fighter for uh, Nate Landwehr. I'm going to say the fight will not go the distance. Yeah, I'm going to say the fight will not go the distance here. But uh, I see Lajko as a better fight, as a better a striker overall, and I believe he has what it takes to keep the fight standing, so my pick for this fight to win gonna be Ranch says pick a side, my pick gonna be uh, Lodovic Klein, but my primary pick, the fight will not go the distance.